Okay, guys. Uh, just want to say hello. That this channel is not totally dead. Uh, I always want to make new stuff. But I'm the worst procrastinator. Huh. Anyways, lots of stuff I want to do, but then I never get around to it. So, uh, but I want to make uh, a lot of a lot of videos. <laughs> uh, here's a attack deck. Alien workshop. Buddy, you got me this. Um, yeah, tonight I was like really, I was skating all types of little ledges and stuff like magazines. Um, don't know why I'm talking about this, but so yeah, yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm glad I got this, and uh, I've been, it's a cool thing to do, like, sitting around, you know, like, to find, like, a, a tray or something, and, like, skate it, <laughs> uh, so, do a little tap sound. This is probably not relaxing because the idea of just rubbing grip tape, <laughs> you gotta be a badass to do that. File your nails. I don't know if this will ruin it. One source of audio is down here, the other source is on the camera. The one down here is probably the good one. Hide my eyes. Just file these nails down, you know what I mean? down. Let's see what it sounds down here. No, it's, you can't really see it. Yeah, forgive me with this video. It's more of a test. Just to see how everything comes out. Definitely got to get some more of those like uh, skating videos. Those are my most popular ones. Like with me skating around like an area, you know what I mean? But yeah, this is a cool tech deck, right? Alien Workshop. It's just kind of fun skating around, you know. Uh, what else? See how this sounds. Oops. So how you guys been? Shout out to all my uh, subscribers that uh, the few of you that have been here over the years, like, <laughs> uh, and all the new people who are finding the skate cruise video. The whole point of this channel was like, if somebody enjoyed the sound of skating, then like, that was the. Goal. But uh, regardless, I just want to say, what's up to all the people who've shown support over the years. Rubik's Cube. 
Let's get that thumbnail pick. My lips look red as hell. I should have done white balance and shit. Damn. I mean, I did a little, like, long ago. But then I added some lights. <sighs> Whatever. Like I said, this is a test. Okay, Rubik's Cube. Alright. Rubik's Cube. Invented by... I think his last name is Rubik's. <laughs> Rubik. Thomas Rubik? No, I don't know. But, uh, and I pretty much forgot, but, I mean, so, basically, each side has a color. You can tell by the middle square. That's the square that doesn't move on a 3x3 three three cube. Um, so first you want to get the whites. No, you want to make a daisy. A daisy is a yellow center with white outsides. So here's the yellow center. How should I do this? Yellow center. There's a white. There's a white. Um, slide that up and then I'll simply rotate that back boom that's the daisy we got the white petals now we're just gonna bring that down to the opposite side nothing special about it you just push them you just f basically flip it one two one two and get it on the bottom so that way it matches with the white Now you want to get the rest of the whites. So you want to solve the white face first. This is one method. This is a bad method, actually. The professionals, they figure out some crazy stuff. They can do this in seconds. But this is like the two minute method, if you're good. Or like five to 10 minute method, whatever. So that goes on the bottom, I think, right? Yeah. Whites on the bottom. These top ones. How did, did you even care about this? Let me just see if I can solve it. Almost. Let's see, you got a white on the top. So basically, you look at the other side of it. Oh, it's orange. So you put it on the orange side. So now this white block with the orange is now on the orange side. Now that I'm staring at the orange, now that it's on the orange side, you throw it back, flip the top around a little, you hit the left side of it, and then you, there it is, and you bring it down, boom, to the bottom. We got one left. White is on the bottom. The other one's on top. I forgot how to get this on the top. Um, dang, I forgot. Wait a sec. Hmm. I think you line it up and you're like one back, one down. And that did not fix it. it up and then you go back this down. Okay, now it's on the bottom row, bottom row. 
think that's good. It's just like how I described. You, it's got the white, and the other side's green. So, oh, it's already on the green side. So green and green. So now, looking at the green, I know this is the white one. Boom! Throw it back. Left turn. Bring it down. And I'm still missing one. Up here now. Top row. What if it has to be like this? I do remember some of the algorithms, though, as you get farther. Wait a second. You gotta solve the bottom row first in this method. It has something to do with these yellows. I think it's like. Honestly, don't know. I'll figure this out another time if you guys want. Let's see what else we got. Okay, we got a uh, agua with some lemon. I think that light is a little too bright. PS truck. That uh, my buddy tagged up. Pretty cool. I hit a little tag. I hit this tag on the top. Uh, this dude's really cool. Young skater. Who made this? He hosts like little art slash skate jams at his house and uh, kind of the hood. It's a hood is all relative though, you know, if you live there it's normal. If you're from the burbs, you're probably scared of that area, but I'm all over Chicago. But uh, he hosts these really cool events. He's a young ripper, really cool. And... Um, yeah, he does like art, Arch sells art, has like concerts and like, not concerts, but people play music, he's got artists, and we skate in front of his house right on uh, 51st, right in the middle of the street with cars flying by, it's, it's pretty funny. But he had these little trucks, I wanted to show him some support, so I copped one, <laughs> I hit a little tag, wait, what the... This is reversed. Wait a sec. Right now the screen is reversed like a mirror. That's weird. I wonder, is everything backwards? Gotta be kidding me. Huh. Anyways. 
real rubber tire, pretty cool. Inside, but you can hear a little steering wheel and whatnot. It's pretty cool. If I was behind the camera, I could get this how I want. There we go. Got some macro ability on this lens a little bit. Yeah. Last, but definitely, definitely not least, uh, I have a magic origami ball, and it's helium for the helium network. Um, by the way, I made some videos uh, about the helium network. Not not about the helium network, but just my process of setting up helium miners. This is like a couple years ago now. And uh, I was super into it. I still am into it. But like I said, because I'm the worst procrastinator, I film stuff and it sits around for years and it never gets edited. So I gotta get better at that. But I'm gonna be dropping, I might as well just drop this stupid video. And then when I drop something, or if I would drop something, if I edit the video years later, it's like, most of the time it's irrelevant so helium network is like totally like one number one crypto was real big before this bear market if you guys are into crypto or whatever but uh so everything was popular helium network is popular and then everything crashed we got the uh all the crazy stuff in the world going on and everything crashed because it's a bear market so uh no one gives it no one cares at all about the helium network. They all, you know, because, uh, you know, it crashed down so far. So anyways, I don't want to go on a too big of a tangent, but uh, anyway, the helium network is still really cool. Even though it's not what it was right now, it's basically, it's a network for the future. So hopefully it can survive and uh, be some really useful for cheap IoT devices. So even though you don't make the money from mining like uh, a couple years ago, uh, I still think it's cool. A lot of people are mad because they lost money, but uh, it's like I'm just more being patient and seeing what happens. You know, if it uh, can weather the storm and then be a thing again. Some of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but uh, yeah, I was really into helium mining. Short story longer. I made videos, I'm going to at least drop one where I put an outlet in the attic, specifically so I can put a helium miner up there. Um, I made the whole video, everything, all I had to do was like this part, to fill in some talking and explain. Anyways, <laughs> I think I'm going to post those videos, even though they're a relevant topic. I mean, uh, the outlet, putting an outlet, some might find that interesting, but the second video is going to be installing the helium miner up there, and I'm still going to post that anyways, even though some people might hate helium, the helium network, <laughs> because they lost money or whatever, but, and, you know, they think the mining is stupid, but um, if you're already set up in mining, just, and it's only making, you know, a buck or so, a week or a month, whatever it is, I haven't even checked. Uh, whatever, <laughs> just let it do its thing. Wow, crazy tangent. Anyways, my buddy makes origami magic balls. So I had him make me a helium network ball. That's the logo. Pretty sweet, right? Check it out. It open. And it's paper ball. Pretty cool. And it's 
not just normal origami. You can like smash it. Look at that. It is a ball. That's the helium symbol. Yeah, it's like it could be a stress ball. It could be a uh, just something cool origami, or it can be an ornament when it's in its case. So yeah. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Again, my apologies. I'm looking at this screen because I'm still getting used to. I gotta get re get used to making videos and seeing how this. I do gotta check the focus and stuff, but uh. Right now the focus breathing is very slow, which maybe you guys might not like that. For instance, this is focus breathing. How long it takes to switch. I tried to do it slow so that way it's smooth, but oh, this side just says helium much time. Anyways, if anybody's interested in a helium or an uh, origami magic ball, my buddy makes any designs he comes up with all these different designs to print on them so uh, yeah he could do requests <laughs> yeah it takes him these just like 1500 folds he has to do and takes him X amount of hours so they would be like 50 bucks or so at least if you want to be more generous go ahead but uh, yeah he made me this this was really cool Anyways, this was a pretty random video. Let's put it back in like so. So right now it's in ornament mode, you could say. Cool. Hmm. Do people like tapping anymore? I don't know. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, here's a video. <laughs> Hopefully, somebody finds it relaxing. That's the whole goal of this channel. I'm going to try to get to some requests that have been commented over the years, but it's almost like this channel is going to kind of restart, hopefully. Let's see when this, first I got to finish up this little footage video, and uh, then, uh, then I want to make some more cruising around videos, maybe with this camera, and I got some audio equipment. I will be testing out. So, I gotta come up with a little tagline. As always, well, that's Vsauce. Uh, Vsauce is a really cool YouTube channel if you don't know about it. It's got social media too, as well. Super interesting, sciencey stuff. Um, yeah. Been a fun time with you guys. Uh, appreciate all the love with the channel and all the feedback is always welcome. So I don't even know how I should talk. If I should whisper, if I should. My voice has not been consistent. But. Mm, and this setup is just. I just threw this together. <clears throat> I've been wanting to remodel this room for like a long time paint the dark blue, probably like a beige -ish color, um, anyways, have a good day, good night, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.